subscribe my channel for more informative videos channel name is Kartik Kumar you can search for my channel on YouTube by using the keyword Kartik Kumar MATLAB channel URL is youtube.com slash c slash matlab tutor rkt welcome in through this video tutorials i am trying to give you as much content as possible without hiding any datas in my video tutorial you can see that everything is simulated first i will simulate the circuit by my own and i will rectify the errors then only i will post the video tutorial here every video you can try by your own after seeing this video tutorial anyone can try to simulate the same by their own in matlab the main aim of this video tutorial series is to give a clear idea without hiding any content that is the main objective of my channel so for more informative videos kindly subscribe to my channel today we will see how to give firing sequence for 180 degree mode in a inverter in inverter we are having two modes that is 180 and 120 mode operation today we will see what is the difference between 180 mode and then how to give firing pulse for a 180 mode operation in an inverter here this is our inverter circuit now first let us see why it is called as 180 degree mode here each device will conduct for a 60 time period that is for this interval on this interval we are having three devices t1 t4 t5 uh, this will conduct t1 will conduct for 60 degree t4 will conduct for 60 degree t5 will conduct for 60 degree similarly from 60 to 120 degree t1 will conduct for 60 degree T4 will conduct for 60 degree, T6 will conduct for 60 degree. Like this, it will go on. Now, if you take the total conduction time for device T1, here T1 refers to this switching device. If you take the total time period or the total conduction time for the switch T1, that is T1 is equal to 60 plus 60 plus 60 because in this six modes you can see that t1 is on for three intervals that is here it is 60 plus 60 plus 60 which will give you 180 it will give you 180 and hence this is called as 180 mode 180 degree mode similarly you can calculate it for t2 out of this 6 mode or 6 interval, T2 is on for these 3 periods. That is 60 plus 60 plus 60. Here 180 is a total time period for including all the 3 phases. That is R, Y, B and B. But 60, the 60 is for A phase. This is for B phase and this is for C phase. In for A phase, T1 conducts 60 degree. In B phase, T1 conducts for 60 degree and in C phase, T1 conducts for 60 degree. But the total conduction time of T1 is 180. And hence, it is called as 180 degree mode. Here, the various fi firing intervals are 0. 60, 120, 180, 240 and 300. Later on we will see 
the significance of this firing angle. This is the reason why it is called as 180 degree mode. Next, we will see the pulse generator. Pulse generator 1. Here we are having two things. That is, okay, the first thing is amplitude. The first thing is amplitude. It will mention the signal height. Signal height. This is your amplitude. Here the amplitude is 5 volt. Next, period. Period means the device total time period. For here, it is 0 0.0, .02, which is the total time period of an AC waveform. That means 360 degree. The total conducting time period is 360. The total time period is 360. This is your period. Total time period that is 360. Next one is pulse width. Now we will see what is pulse width. Here this is a 180 degree board. That means a particular switch, for example T1, it needs to turn on for 180 degree. But now we need to give this enter this value in time period. Now what is 180? Here pulse width is percentage of the period. What is our period? It is 360 degree, but here T1 needs to be conduct only for 180, and hence I need to convert this. What is the percentage of 180 in 360? Now I am having in calculation. Simply 360 degree is equal to 100 percentage. Then what is 180? This will give you the percentage of your pulse width. Pulse width is equal to 100 into 180 by 360 that will give you 50 percentage or 360 by divided by 2 is 180 which is half of it that is 50 percentage and hence the pulse width is 50 percentage here the pulse width refers to 180 this is the reason why we are giving 180 here because this T1 it needs to conduct for 180 degrees. That is 60 plus 60 plus 60. Then phase delay. Here the waveform will start at 0. The switch will start in conduction time period at 0 time period. That is called as phase delay. This is how we are giving the input for pulse generator 1. Next we will go to pulse generator 2. Because lot of students or people will have a doubt. How data are entered in this pulse generators? Here we are having six pulse generator in 120 and 180 mode. I will in detail, in clearly I will explain each pulse generator value. The next thing is pulse generator two. Here also the amplitude of the signal is that is height of the signal is five volt. The time period, time period of the total total time period. This is total time period that is 360 degree out of this 360 degree my device t2 it needs to be in conduction for 180 degree it is 50 percentage of the total time period now phase delay what is the phase delay in the first way we have said see that first set it, it needs to start at 0 degree next set it needs to start at 60 degree now we need to set the firing angle as 60 degree. So, yeah. Here the in the way in the simulation you can see that the phase delay I have given it as 0 0.01 divided by 3. If you get it, you will get it as 0 0.0033. Now if you calculate the firing angle for this value, you will get the firing angle as 59.4, that is 60, which is nothing but the second set firing angle second set of device it needs to turn on at 60 degree the next set it needs to turn on at 120 degree next and hence phase delay here the phase delay is given as 60 degree 
here the device will this is 360 if this is 180 now this again set of device it will start in conduction from 60 degree from here it will turn on from here to here device will be in off state from here to next 180 degree till the device will be in on state this is the value for your pulse generator 2. The phase delay is 60 degree and the pulse width is 180 degree. Next pulse generator 3. Here again same thing amplitude is 5 volt period. The total time period is 0 0.02 pulse width is 180 degree. Next is phase delay it should be 120 degree and you could have seen that in the simulation for the phase delay I have used 0 0.02 divided by 3 which will be 0 0.0066 if you calculate if you want to calculate alpha alpha is equal to phase delay that is 0 0.0066 into 360 degree by total time period that is 0.02 it will be equal to 120 degree here the phase delay is 120 degree that means the device will start in conduction from 120 degree. Here the alpha is 120 degree. This is called as phase delay. The device will start after 120. This is the data which we are given in for pulse generator 3. Next, pulse generator 4, again same thing, the time period is 360 degree and the pulse width is 180 degree. Here the phase delay is 0 0.01, 0 0.01 into 360 by 0.2 will get alpha is equal to 180 degree. In the tabulation we have seen that first 0 degree. Next, set it should be start at 60 degree, next 120 degree, next 180 degree, next 240 degree, next 300 degree. Now you can see that the next the firing angle should be 180 degree and hence instead of giving it as 180, I am giving the phase delay as point. 0, 1. Next, pulse generator 5 value. Here also the time period is 0 0.02 second, pulse width is 50, which refers to 180 degree. The phase delay is 0 0.04 by 3. You will get, if you divide 0 0.04 by 3, you will get 0 0.0133. If you want to calculate the angle, angle is equal to 0 0.0133 into 360 degree by 0 0.02 which you will get it as 240. Here the firing angle is 240. Here the firing angle alpha is 240 and hence instead of giving the firing angle in angle in phase delay we need to enter the firing angle in seconds which will be 0 0.04 by 3 or you can simply enter it as 0.0133 this is the firing angle for fifth device next sixth here the firing delay is 0 0.05 by 3 which is 0 0.0166 here the alpha is firing angle alpha is 0 0.0166 into 360 degree by 0 0.02 here the alpha is 300 the firing angle is 300 but in MATLAB we need to enter the firing angle in seconds and hence this point zero five by 3 is given in MATLAB. I hope that I given a very clear explanation how the data are entered 
in pulse generator for 180 degree mode of operation in a three phase inverter. For more informative videos, kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.